So as we've been talking about, our subject is kind of app management and the whole app life cycle for Windows with Intune. So just before we go into how, let's just show you real quick. So instead of apps, we'll go to Windows. When you click Add to create an app, we'll just talk about real quick, kind of, because essentially your options are, right, is that so you can deploy an app from the Microsoft Store. You can deploy certain Microsoft apps really easily and automatically, whether it's you know Office 365 or Edge. And then you have a few other things, which are web links, which as you can see here are like a web clip. You've got line of business apps, which is a customer in-house app, which you can see here. If you want to deploy an MSI, you can do it that way. Also MSIX, that kind of stuff. And then a Windows 32 app, which are, you know, 32-bit. You build it with, you know, into and all that good stuff. Really what we're going to focus on here is your line of business app, which you can see if you don't have an MSI, it gets a little more complicated. You need to actually build an MSIX bundle. And as we know, many apps are not going to be MSIs. You're going to have stuff that might be a zip of all these different things and that kind of thing. And so we're going to go into the MSIX packaging and building. So we open the MSIX packaging tool. And so you're going to do is you're going to click create your app package. And for those of you who have VDI experience, this is going to be very similar to the app volumes concept and what you'll see soon. So you click create package on this computer. And so this is just doing some checks and stuff. Okay, so we're going to leave this all at default, hit next. And now from here, it's going to ask for the installer. So let's go find a nice EXE installer that we have. And I believe we have Horizon. So we'll use that. So you run that. The really important thing, by the way, to make sure is you, you, want to, you need to make sure that it's not there. So I'm going to click uninstall, and we're going to pause this for a quick second. Okay, we're back, and you see Horizon is now gone. So you, you pick your you pick your uh, your MSI or say your executable to create your package with. Now here you have different ways of signing the package. If you're going to want to deploy this via Intune, you absolutely have to sign the package. So for simplicity's sake, I would just like using Device Guard to sign it, but you can also use a you know, a company code signing certificate, which you can get pretty easily. So I'm going to click sign with device card. I'm going to click sign in with Microsoft. Logging in. Fortunately, this is not integrated with a single sign on the app itself. So great. So it looks like we're good. I'm going to click next. Now you're just going to name the package. This cannot have any spaces, so I'll just call this Horizon. Now here you can have some spaces you're going to call it, like VMware Horizon Client. You can see publisher name is Centrex. That's based on the certificate and all that good stuff. Publisher display name is VMware. I'm going to call this version 1.0. VMware Horizon Client. Let's call it that. Install location. This is mainly if it's going to be somewhere that's not program files. You need to put it in a very specific place. But for the most part, you can just leave that. Hit next. Now, this is very misleading if you don't actually read it. Now, one thing to point out here is once this is done, it's going to automatically restart because that's the way the Horizon client works. So I'm going to close this recording out here. And look what we saw here, which is a great point. See, you get that. So what does that mean? That means it didn't install correctly. And I did this intentionally because I wanted to show you. So, 
we're gonna reopen it. Now that we showed you why that what happened there, we're gonna show you the why now. Yeah, I know that was a little kludgy, but I want to show you exactly what happens and why you need to make sure that you really know what you're doing. Because MSIX, it takes a little bit of time to learn, but once you get there, you're in really good shape. I'll just pause this for a second for us to go through the checks again. Okay, now we're ready to proceed. Now let me show you why it didn't work last time. And like I said, I did this intentionally, just so you actually understand what the why. So we're going to add a Horizon client. Now here's the, here's the kicker. Specify installer arguments. So in order to actually properly build this, you have to give it commands for it to run silently. And it's, much, it's really going to show you the why, what happens when it goes wrong. So we're going to paste in here the Horizon parameters that you need. So we're going to sign in again here, and then you'll see wow, how much better it goes this time. Now we're going to hit next. Again, we're going to do this here. Hit next. And now it's going to run through the install, but now that we gave it the right commands, it's going to do it all silently. And you're going to end up seeing a restart really shortly, which is when we'll pick things back up. 